Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah al-hidayah the guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is absolutely necessary for all of creation, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides is guided. And whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala leaves to astray is left astray. And from this, the, the Islamic concept of guidance, of hidayah, it also brings up the issue of the qadr, the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that kul shay khalaqnahu bil qadr. Everything we've created with a decree in accordance to its due proportion. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned fi kitabihi al-kareem that everything has been created by him for an appointed term and an appointed duration and an appointed measure. And that brings up the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the divine decree. And that the hidayah comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And from the maratib of qadr is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's ilm. That he has knowledge over everything that has taken place. He has knowledge of your ending. However, you are unaware of your ending. You don't know whether your abode is Jannah or your abode is Nar. Wa'iyadhim billah wa'iyakum min nar And so the mu'min should be upon clarity that since the guidance is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they must tawakkal Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They must rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They must fi'l asbad. They must make effort to seek out guidance. Ihdina surat al-mustaqeem. Guide us to the straight path. And this is what the believer says in Surah Al-Fatiha, in Fatiha Al-Kitab, in the, the opening chapter in our Salat. We're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guidance. This does not contradict the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed everything. You don't know your abode. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created you out of justice. And He is Al-Adl. He is the most just. And He is aware of your ending. And He created you. And with full knowledge of your end result, but you are unaware, as the Prophet ﷺ said, "Fayat takilu," that the people would depend if they had the knowledge that if they hakkat the tawheed, if they perfected the tawheed, that you know that this would be the means for them to be enter paradise. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala knows, and we must always make effort because you don't know your end result. So from his divine wisdom and his justice, subhanahu, his perfect justice, tabarak wa ta'ala, al-adl created us in, a, in accordance with the divine decree. And from the sifat of the mu'mineen is that they do not hold or immerse themselves in the the issue of the qadr. That's not a rattlesnake, is it? No, I didn't think so. And that is from the divine decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with ilm al nafiyah and hidayah wa rizq al tayyibah wa amin al mutaqabbil. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of the mu'mineen and give us all guidance and bless us with ikhlas wa thabat ala sunnah. And that we want guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. True guidance means ikhlas wa sunnah. Means that we have sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We don't have any shirk in our ibadah. And that we're on the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this is why you had some of the salaf that they used to refer and say, I don't know of a ni'mah which is greater than being upon the sunnah, meaning that Islam in and of itself, that's a ni'mah. But to be guided into the fold of Islam and then be upon the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that is an akbar ni'mah. That is a ni'mah min niyamillah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is greater than just being in the fold of Islam. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.